If your A2000 is running hot, it might be time to clean the fan. Today, we are going to change the thermal paste. As you can see, my fan is pretty much blocked. So let's get started. For this job, you're gonna need T5, T6 and T7 keys. Let's start by removing the older. So there's two screws on the back and two screws on the front. Let's put it to the side and continue removing the rest of the screws. I am now removing the GPU spring. Be careful because this is a spring and it comes by force. Let's turn it over and starting from the other side of the fan, just lift it up. Unplug the fan. Be careful not to break the wires. And now let's remove the fan. There's four screws to remove the fan. Three are very obvious. The other one is a deep screw. the fan and give it a good clean up. With the fan clean, let's proceed to change the thermal paste. Be careful not to break anything. You can twist a little bit just to loosen up, but try to just pull it apart. Let's start by cleaning any dry thermal. I recommend using alcohol based wipers. Now it's time to assemble all together. Let's start with the fan. Start by pulling the fan down and put the screws back. Let's put it to the side and now we're going to apply the thermal paste. A pea size will do it. I'm using MX4 which is one of the best around and uh, it works pretty well, never had problems with it. the graphic card into the heat plate trying to aim for the screws
and I'm going to put the screws with the spring. Start by just securing one screw in one side and then on the other and at the end you can tighten up both screws. With everything secure it's time to put back the fan. Start by putting the fan plug into the board and then close the casing. Now I'm going to secure the main board. And finally the holding plate. So back on the rig I've been running for some time and you can see there's a, a big improvement. Now it's fair to say that this graphic card is hotter because of my main board that have a metal 16p. Thank you for watching.